doing the Universal VIP tour today. I'm waiting for one of my co-workers to come. He's just parking. So, uh, we go in right over here. It's right by the guest service line over there. And it's going to be really fun. I don't know what it's going to include, but it's going to be a good time. They have added a sign onto the wall for the Fast and Furious ride. They're doing the fish market show right now. Come on over, ladies and gentlemen. Come on up to the yellow rope line. We're gonna be but this tour is really fun. In about two minutes now, two minutes. It's definitely worth the money. You get backdoored onto um, most attractions. And we're having a good time. That's actually the last black and white camera that Embassy Studios used, so we have it here on display. Now the dolly it's on is one of those really big dollies that would run along a track and then push it back and forth. They don't use those anymore, but they did continue using those as they moved into the standard definition color TV and everything. So the camera next to it, with the newer logo that everyone's more familiar with, that is the last standard definition camera that we used. Uh, so they would have used cameras similar to that on that old dolly before they updated the dolly system, but that old camera would have taken one person to operate the camera side. I'm done with the VIP tour and I just wanted to talk about it a little bit and then I'm gonna go into Disney Springs that's where I'm parked right now before I go into work I know I'm crazy doing all this stuff before work but VIP tour is really um, worth the money if you want to get the most out of your day we really didn't get to experience the tour the way you guys would because for us it was learning about the product that we sell for my job so um we did get to be backdoored on to escape from green gots we got to ride the train back and forth and we got to be backdoored onto the race through New York with Jimmy Fallon. And then they also include a breakfast in the beginning. Um, once you check in, you go upstairs to their special VIP room. You, um, small breakfast items, pastries, cereal. They have coffee, milk, chocolate milk, apple juice, orange juice. You can grab water bottles for the day while you're up there. Um, and then what they'll do if you are in a non-private tour is they kind of talk to the whole group because you'll be with different families and couples 
um, and they kind of gather what everybody kind of wants to do so you might not be able to do everything you want to do in particular because you're sharing the group um, but they do make sure that you try and get on everything that you've basically seen in commercials in the past five years so like Harry Potter Despicable Me um, Race Through New York with Jimmy Fallon the Hulk Spider-Man all of those if you have a tube park um, tour they do have a one park tour if you wanted to do that as well all right so I'm in the trendy area plus the marketplace I'm in the suitcase location but this is what I'm excited for the dress shop I haven't been to it yet like do you live or do you live <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it would say no, but yeah. That's not terrible. That's a little um, Beauty and the Beast characters on the bottom. And then you can buy the little petticoat? I don't know what it's called. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. And then this purse. Wow. Everything is Gorgiana in here. Oh my gosh. Can we just? Oh. Area. Don't go back outside. Um, let me find out the full name. I think it's called Market. Market Co-op. So if you go in there at Disney Springs, they have tons of things. Ooh, it's gonna rain. I'm gonna have to leave soon so I can get to work. Um, I also don't want to get this camera wet. We're gonna go to Tea Traders, and after Tea Traders, uh, I got to head to work. But I love Tea Traders, so I'm gonna show you guys Tea Traders. Also, pathway where Cooks of Dublin is. You're gonna turn this way. There's a little bakery for allergies, which is great, but my allergy is coconut, so that actually doesn't help me at the allergy bakery, because <laughs> they use coconut for like everything in there. Um, so I'm allergic to the allergy friendly place. Um, straight ahead is the boat house. They have chapel hats. Um, and around this corner where the bathrooms are, you're gonna see the bathrooms on your left. Tea traders on the right. And I just realized I could have went to the bathroom over here instead of walking all the way to the Disney store. So supposed to be a local expert. I don't know how that works. So there we go. It smells amazing in here, by the way, everybody. So I got a frozen matcha green tea. So good. Mm -hmm. What was really interesting in there, they have a new drink. And it's a nitro cold brew. They let me try a sample of it. It's very interesting. It's really smooth and creamy coffee. Just straight up coffee without any cream or anything. Like if you got a glass of it, you only would really need to add sugar. Um, if you need sugar in your coffee, um, you wouldn't need to put any creamer or milk or anything. Um, it was really good. Um, I wanted this because even if it melts, it'll last longer at work. But next time, I'm totally gonna get that. Um, but judging by the weather, how it's turning out, and I have to be in work at three. It is 2:20. Um, so. I'm going to head out. So that's all for this video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. 